I'm Dana K. White of aslobchemsclean.com and I'm going to be talking about outdoor cleanup using my power washer. This is not a review of a power washer. This is not any kind of a ad for a power washer. I am just talking about using a power washer from the perspective of someone like me or from me, I guess, who tends to think things like, if I only had a power washer, this would be easy. If I only had a power washer, this space wouldn't even be dirty. It's one of those things in my mind as I see, you know, it's getting to be warmer weather, you may be outside trying to clean up outdoor stuff. And the mentality of people like me is, oh, this is hopeless because I don't have the magic tool that's out there. So I have used a power washer. I've both rented one and now I've purchased one. And I'm gonna talk about what they do and what they don't do, how they do make things easier, and also how they're not actually magical, okay? All right, so this is for outdoor cleanup kind of stuff. Uh, a couple of years ago, I believe it was in 2018, I, which is more than a couple of years ago now, oh my word, anyway, <laughs> but a while back, let's say that, I rented a power washer. So we started really, you know, using our outdoor spaces a lot more once 2020 came but this was before that but i was wanting to use an outdoor space for i think it was an easter egg hunt for the great nieces and nephew and so i was like oh my goodness we've never power washed this back here it's disgusting i need to rent a power washer so i rented one and i think at the time it was 38 dollars a day from home depot i believe i looked it up when I was making this video, which has now been a while because I made all these over the summer last summer, and I think it was like $42, okay? Which is not bad, right? But here's how it works. The one that I wanted, you know, I live in a small town. I don't have a Home Depot. I have to drive at least 20 minutes anyway. And then the one that I wanted was actually 45 minutes away. So I had to go there. Well, that's also where I had to return it. You have 24 hours for a rental period and you leave like a $50 deposit, I think not advertising that just explaining how it works so i had spent this 38 dollars and i had to get it back in the 24 hours or i was going to be charged another one well how do you gauge that 24 hours right like that's really important because there's a learning curve with power washers so what i did i i decided i'm going to get it out hook it up see what it does in this late afternoon evening and then in the morning is when I'm really gonna do the work um, which that worked fine but it was a little bit stressful to get it back in time because it, it just really you know that 24 hours I did want to sleep in there so you know um, and I really didn't want to pay for another one another day the other thing about renting it y'all it was a big one the guy was convinced that I needed the bigger one than this and I was like no I want the $38 one it was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna do what you really want it to do. It did fine, it worked great. I have a blog post I wrote back then that you can um, get the link to. I'll put it in the description here. But even that smaller one was so heavy. And like, they didn't offer to bring it out to my car. I think when I brought it back, I think I actually walked in there and said, I need somebody to come out here and help me with this. Cause it was so unbelievably heavy like i did not know if i was gonna be able to get it up into my suburban because anyway it was big not big but just like crazy heavy i my i made my um husband or sons or whoever put it in the back of the suburban once we were done with it and i was like um this thing is really heavy and they're like oh sure and then oh yeah it really is it's really crazy heavy so like the next year I wouldn't have been able to do it. Like I would have just had to say, sorry, cause I had a hysterectomy. And like, I don't think I would have lifted this thing for like a year or two after my hysterectomy. I mean, like it was so stinking heavy. One other thing today, I am not explaining how to use one. You need to read your instruction book of whatever power washer that you're using because you either borrowed it or bought one or rented one or whatever, because these things are kind of dangerous. Like it feels like it should be something that um, is like, oh, I'm power washing on a hot day. It's gonna be, you know, of all outdoor activities, surely that's going to be kind of refreshing, right? It's not, they're like super scary and dangerous. I mean, like 
they'll take paint off of something so they'll totally take skin off like it's not a toy it's not something for kids to use so that was another thing that kind of surprised me i thought it was going to be like oh this is going to be kind of fun playing with water it's not all right but the reason why 24 hours was kind of difficult is there really is a learning curve here's the main thing that is not magical about power washers the way that i assumed it was magical about power washers and i found this to be true with like steam mops and other kind of things like that it doesn't make dirt disappear. It moves dirt, but it doesn't make it disappear. Okay. Meaning yes, it is going to power wash and get in there in all those little places where dirt has been ground into the concrete and it's going to move, but it moves the dirt. The dirt doesn't just like, huh, wow. It just like evaporated. Dirt doesn't evaporate. Okay. It moves it. So you have to really plan how you're going to do this job that you're doing because it's going to spray and splatter the dirt that you're moving all over so you need to start in one place where you're going to continue moving and washing the places that everything is splattering onto okay you see what i'm saying like i know it's a little bit confusing just know that there's more to it and that's why the learning curve is important and that's why the 24 hour thing can start to add up pretty quickly if you are like wait a minute this took me a little longer to get figured out or i didn't end up having the time that i thought i was going to have and so i need to add on another day which then can start to add up so what i did and what i love okay not advertising this one i'm just saying i bought this year because we have a larger outdoor space and a lot of things that we're going to need to be or could really use a good power wash i decided i was going to invest in this smaller one okay look i am picking this thing up so that gives you an i that gives you an idea of one of the main reasons why i really like this one is it is so much lighter weight like i can handle this i can deal with this one um is it super crazy powerful no but it's doing what i need it to do like maybe it's not getting things perfect but i actually have only used this one okay so there's like a just kind of a not very powerful nozzle these come on like like this there's a not very powerful nozzle oh has a little water in it and then there's this one to actually do some power washing and then there's like a super power cr powerful crazy version of the um of a nozzle. I haven't used the super car. I have not used the super crazy powerful version at this point. Okay. I've only used this one and it's done what I needed to do. So I feel like the super crazy powerful one would probably do bigger, you know, work. So anyway, what are some things that I have used for a power washer? Okay. So this one was like, it was less than $120 when I purchased it like a year ago for when this video comes out. Um, it's easy for me to manage. It's easier for me to hook up. Definitely read your instructions really, really carefully so that you, you know, don't mess it up and also don't get injured. Um, but it's been worth it to me because let me just tell you about some of the things that I've power washed. Well, first of all, I've power washed our back patio. Um, there's a little spot where the rain just kind of collects and somehow hits. We're not really sure. I don't know if it's dew or what, but somehow these couple of spots just get kind of gross looking, um, on our back patio. And I was able to like get those cleaned off there. I couldn't, you know, just spraying them with a water hose. It hadn't worked, but that was able to look a whole lot better to do that. Um, and then I also used it in this big Tupperware bowl where I had put a bunch of cucumbers from my garden right before we left on a trip for like two weeks. And they were still sitting in there and they kind of rotted and got gross. And then I was freaked out by the grossness and like, oh, what do I do? Oh, I power washed it. And so that was, incredibly helpful like it it did the job it got all that grossness off without me having to touch it i don't have video of this one but our dogs weren't here while we were on vacation and so their dog bowl had sat out in the sun with a little bit of water in it and it just got super gross and disgusting and we tried to wipe it out we tried to scrub it out and the power washer took care of it like that so that was something that i was really excited to be able to use this for another thing that we used uh, the power washer for was this rug 
this rug is supposed to be washable. So I was really excited that it was washable when my dog threw up on it. Um, you know, she tried to get to the, tried to get outside, um, but she didn't quite make it. And she threw up on this rug and it's supposed to be washable and I stuck it in the washing machine and um, my washing machine thinks it's smarter than me and was like, oh, something, it just would not wash. Like it literally would not work with this rug in there. So anyway, I'm not saying anything. I'm sure I'm just doing it wrong, but I'd been frustrated. And so I had, when, <laughs> when somebody was coming over, I stuck it out in the garage. Well, then it was there a while. It was pretty gross. Um, and so I was about ready to throw it away. And I was like, you know, I'm going to try power washing this thing, power washing it, took it completely off. I maybe should have used some soap, but it like, I mean, got all the grossness off, dried out in the sun, which is the best disinfectant anyway. Um, and it looks great. Okay. So those are some ways that I've been using it. Um, besides just the making concrete look better. Um, but again, it's not magical. Remember when I was saying at the beginning, I was like, sometimes in my mind, I look at a mess, especially one that's overwhelming to me. One that is, um, makes me go, I don't know how in the world am I going to deal with this? Like regular soap and water doesn't work on this. And I look at that mess. And in my mind, I think if I had a power washer, I wouldn't have this mess. Oh, I still do. Okay. Like it doesn't prevent them from happening, but it is a tool that I can use. Okay. So am I recommending you buy one instead of renting one? I don't know. I would honestly ask, you know, friends who, you know, when we rented one, somebody found that out and was like, Hey, why didn't you just ask us? I'm like, cause I didn't know you had a power washer, but maybe just ask, Hey, does anybody have a power washer? I could borrow. I want to do some things and figure out if this is something that would be really helpful. But even though this is not your strongest one in the world, I am actually super pleased with it because it takes up so little room. The one I rented was like huge. Okay. So if we'd bought one of those, it would have taken up a lot of space, but it's small. I can use it quickly, easily. I can get it put together, get it put away very fast. Um, and it does, you know, some basic jobs that I want it to do. All right. As you are heading outside to do some cleanup, as the weather gets warmer or is warmer, depending on when we put this video out, think about it. Think about if this is what you want to do. So I'll put my affiliate link to this one in the description, um, just in case you want to go check it out. Okay. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.